what's up everybody and welcome back to house of a warrior first of all i want to say thank you so much for everybody who's checking up on me who's wishing me well who's praying for me i really really appreciate it and also to thank all of you in general for subscribing for liking my videos for keeping up with me during this vlogmas season however crazy it is i am so so grateful so um yesterday i was sick and i still am i'm not a hundred percent yet although i am so much better um and yeah so because i can move around and show you stuff that you guys like to see i want to sit here and do a few personality quizzes and i wanted to do it with you guys so we're gonna take a test and see what google says about me okay yeah so we're gonna start with do you remember your dreams always sometimes and never i'm gonna go with sometimes yeah sometimes i do sometimes i don't yeah um uh, how do you show love through what through touch through gifts through things that i do i don't know i think me i am through what yeah because if i love you i love you and i will keep telling you that you know so yeah i'm gonna go with through words aha uh -huh. what do you want to do in life what do you want to do in life i don't know i want to change the world i want to find happiness i want to make a lot of money i think i want to find happiness yeah i think if you find happiness all these other things will just come right yeah so i'm gonna go with find happiness um what do you fear darkness people something other um other thing and then nothing i fear a lot of things but I'm, they're not listed here so i'm going to i'm gonna go with other yeah <laughs> what is your best trait just one well i think it's and then you fill in the blank and then i don't know my best trait i think my best trait is that i am a, a happy person i generally just find the good in life no matter what situation i'm going through no matter how difficult um things are for me at any given moment i always just find happiness okay i find joy in in most of the things that happen i look for the brighter side of it okay and that keeps me going yeah so uh, next how hard of a worker are you i usually work pretty hard i don't work very hard i always work hard i'm gonna go with i usually work pretty hard yeah I work pretty hard what do you do for fun <laughs> read talk to people watch movies oh definitely watch movies and read sometimes but yeah I'm gonna go with watch movies um, next how often do you play it safe Wow never only when i need to almost always I, I feel like i always played safe like um i just like everyone around me being happy and if that means me bending over backwards to make um everyone feel comfortable and whatever or in whatever situation i always just play it safe to make sure it goes the way it's supposed to go so i'm always going to to go with almost always i play it safe almost always which is more important to you in a partner lofty goals lucrative career or romance i'm gonna go with goals yeah because you can have the career and you're just a, a shady person who doesn't care about tomorrow or you can be romantic and then what will we eat we can't eat romance so I'm gonna go with the goals, man. Goals, goals. You gotta have goals. What have you changed a lot since you were a child? Oh, I don't think so. A little bit, yes, a whole lot. I am practically a different person. 
Um, I mean, they, they mean, I think they mean your personality. Has your personality changed? And for me, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so because... Um, I don't think anything about me has changed uh, from when I was a child because I, I've always just been me. I've always just been Lorraine. I've always just been an. Uh, so I don't think so. Yeah, of course I have grown and I've matured into a different person, but like my personality and my the things that I believe in, I still believe in those things. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with I don't think so. Do you know what you want your life to look like in 10 years? Yes, I think so. But let's go with what they've given. They've said no clue. And then I have some vague ideas. Yes, I know exactly how I want it to be, which is what I was gonna go with. And so much changes in 10 years. I may not even be the same person in 10 years. I will take things as they come rather than try to plan that far ahead. Oh, wow, that's a better answer. I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, you, you go, you will, you know, let the chips fall where they will, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go with that one. I changed my mind. Um... It is harder for you to, number one, admit when you're wrong, stand by in your opinions, make a decision. No, I always make decisions pretty fast. And then stand by in my opinions and admit when I'm wrong. I admit when I'm wrong. I think, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I do. But I think I'm gonna, it's harder for me to stand by my opinions. Yeah, that's, I think that's the best one I can pick out of all these three. Yeah. Do you often find yourself feeling upset and not know the cause of it? I am always upset. As in, especially this month, especially in this period. I, oh my God. Yes, that happens to me all the time. It happens to me occasionally. No, that never happens to me at all. I sometimes find myself feeling that way, but then I sit down and think it through and usually can figure out the, the root of the problem. No, that's not me. Um, do you often find yourself feeling upset and not know the cause of it? Yes, that happens to me all the time. I, You know, I am, I'm not going to say perfectionist, but I like things... Um, going a certain way and in a certain plan and in a certain manner and time yeah I am very time conscious and so like if you are going to get in the way of that you're gonna make me upset yeah so for that reason I'm going to go with yes that happens to me all the time I don't know who I got that from you rely the most on the opinion of experts friends or family myself experts and my myself like my friends and family um yeah i listen to them i will take their advice but that would be like how many like two out of ten times yeah but experts um sometimes experts also do not really know what they're talking about that is just the truth um this is a tricky one and then myself yeah you always have to listen to someone. You can't always just go by what you think all the time, okay? So in this case, I'm, I'm just going to rule out the experts. Unless it's doctors, unless that's what they're talking about, like doctors and stuff like that, I will choose the experts. But in this case, I'm going to go with friends and family because friends and family are important and they might see something that I haven't seen, okay? You believe that getting that getting to know yourself is a lifelong endeavor sure a great adventure hard but doable and impossible i believe that getting to know myself is a lifelong endeavor i think so i'm gonna go with that uh you believe that knowing yourself is a skill a job or a gift a gift getting to know yourself is a gift it is a gift that you're alive and you're alive so that you can continue getting to discover stuff about yourself. Do you find it difficult sometimes to pick a movie to watch when you're alone? 
No. No, I know exactly what I want to watch. But if there's many choices, then I'm going to be a bit confused, yeah? I don't normally watch movies by myself. That's false. I do. Um, yes, it can be so hard to decide. It depends on my mood. No, I usually know what I want to watch. Yeah, that's me. I usually know what I want to watch. Mm, do you easily get embarrassed? Yes. Duh. Yes. Every day when I sit in front of this camera, I am just like, ooh. <laughs> There's like five minutes before you start filming that you talk yourself through it so for so long. Yeah, so I usually get embarrassed. I easily get embarrassed. So there's yes, not really, and it depends on who is around. Um, yeah, that's tricky. But yeah, I'm gonna go with yes. I easily get embarrassed by the way. Even with my kids when they throw tantrums in like a supermarket or in like a public place. I'm the one who gets embarrassed. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are these people going to think about me? You think that your parents raised you well, badly. It was a mix. No parents gets everything right or everything wrong. No, I was raised well. Well, with capital letters. Well. Um, I think I'll finish, no? Do you have any harmless guilty pleasure? Harmless guilty pleasures? Oh, absolutely, they're fun. No, of course not. I am ashamed of something. I'm not going, if I'm ashamed of something, I'm not going to do it. Why would I be guilty of something harmless that brought me pleasure? True, I'm going to go with that. Oops. I messed up. 